I say start in the middle. Start in the middle of the conflict, that pivotal moment. A lot of times when I'm coaching people, they have a really long, drawn out setup. Let me give you an example. There was a data scientist, a director of a quality engineering team at a tech company. And he wanted to tell the story. So this is how he started. We were working for months, getting out our great quality engineering, and we were ready to educate the entire company on what we did. And we did this whole marketing campaign. And we thought everybody was going to understand what we did in the company. And everybody was going to come to us for help. Because before that, nobody even knew what we did. And instead, what happened? Nobody knew. Nobody knew, even after that big initiative, what we were up to. Oh, why it mattered. I was heartbroken. Hey, you could start your story that way. Or you can start right in the middle of the pivotal moment describing a scene, creating a picture, because the picture is more memorable. I suggested he start the story like this because... In our conversations, he had mentioned that he was talking to a woman and her face kind of looked confused. And she said, you know what? I really don't know what you do. So you could start the story like this. She looked at me so confused and she said, I don't really know what you do. And I was heartbroken because we'd spent months trying to educate our company about what the quality engineering team did why it mattered and how we could help. And this was the result. And so I, and then he can talk about what he did to solve that problem, how everybody ended up knowing what they were about and came to him and they were able to raise quality by 15% that year. So you see how much shorter your story can be and how much more intriguing it is to start in the middle of the pivotal moment and describe it as a scene in a movie.